I am down to two times a day taking steroid drops in my eye. And then next week is only going to be one dose a day. So that means that finish line is getting closer and closer and closer. Today is day 26. And this is all about my journey after having a vitrectomy on my right eye. Uh, things are looking great. Literally, things are looking great as far as the changes happening in my right eye. Visibility is uh improving. Um, the bubble is getting smaller and smaller. Every time I wake up, I'm like, whoa, this is so cool. Um, I'm so happy about it. It could have been worse. Nothing happened. So I'm just truly, truly happy that the process, the healing process is continuing and I'm on the road to the end. I will get to that finish line and I will jump over it and I will break that tape with excitement um, because life is a blessing. Sight is a blessing and um, technology and improvement of technology is a blessing. So I have so many things to be grateful for. And, and, and one of those things is to be able to share this journey with you truly. Uh, and as far as the healing process, I know I've been talking about healing and uh, making time to just reset and just relax and not feel as though you have to do everything. I think things like having to have a surgery um, makes you slow down. And um, this definitely made me slow down. So I am working on this project. I've been thinking about what kind of healing art abstract painting I was going to do and what my focus was going to be on. So I've been sitting with it in terms of the unrest. Believe it or not, there's a little unrest inside of me, which is by far not in comparison to the unrest that's going on in um, our country. Um, but nevertheless, I am a firm believer of the fact that art heals and, and each time I do some kind of healing art, I, I feel as though I'm being re-energized or um, ignited in a certain way, you know, that um, just makes me feel good like I'm doing something. I believe the power of prayer is important. I believe the, the power of thought is important. And, and this healing project is a big ask. It really is. Uh, to be able to have world peace, to be able to have more peace in our country. Um, it, it's, it, I believe it's possible, but it's been a long road and things have sort of kicked up from under the rug again. Uh, racism um, is, is, is a tough cookie. Um, and it's not even a cookie. I shouldn't even say it's a tough cookie. It's really, really um, unfortunate that we are in 2020 and we're having to deal with the things that we're having to deal with as black and brown people. So what can I do at my home um, on medical leave? I can do healing art and I can pray that things improve and that we come to some kind of resolve and, and make some changes um, in terms of how we handle crisis and situations, especially dealing with um, people of color. So as a close, I just want to thank you for joining me today. I really didn't want this to be a long one. I am now just in constant thought about how I'm going to approach my healing art project. Stay tuned. Uh, tomorrow, I will have another video for you. And as always, love, light, and most of all, joy.